Do you need to pass a calculated value from one form to another? Let me show you how. Hey, job formers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly. And for this case, we're gonna be utilizing two different forms. And I already have both forms set up, so let me introduce you to both of them before we get started. So with this first form, form one is going to be where the calculation happens. So you can see we have a single choice element with the t-shirt, the bag, and the shoes with the price. We have the quantity. And so basically the very bottom calculation is going to do a calculation for us. It's going to multiply what Whatever they chose up here by the quantity. Now what we want to happen is we want that calculation to pass on to another form that has a payment gateway. So let's head there. Now this second form, form two, is where that payment integration lives. And for this example, I'm gonna be utilizing the PayPal standard. So we can see right down here, we want that calculation to pass to this section right here where it says my products. So for this, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the payment settings. This is only going to work if the payment type is user defined amount or collecting donations. So for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on user defined amount. Now, two things that we need from this form before we head back to form one is I'm gonna go ahead and click on the properties on this one. I'm gonna head up to advanced, then field details. We need to identify where we want the price to move over to from this form. So we can see the unique name for this is my products within the curly bracket. So that's one thing we need from this form. The second thing is if we head up to publish, we need to copy this link right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one. So let's head back to that first form. Now, one thing that we need from this form is going to be under the calculation, I'm gonna choose properties here as well, advanced field details, and we can see this one's unique name is calculation. So how this is going to happen is once someone submits this form, we want it to go to that other form. So the best way to do this is to utilize that thank you page. So I'm gonna head up to settings. We're going to go to the thank you page. And right now we can see that it is on to show a thank you page. We want them to be rerouted to an external link. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this. We're gonna paste in form two's URL right there. Now I'm going to add a question mark right here as a separator between the form and then this next piece we're going to be doing. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste in this last part and then we'll kind of walk through it. And again, all of this is within the help article. So don't think you have to write anything down, just go and copy and paste it from there. So we can see I have form two's URL. I have the question mark to separate it. We have the my products, that unique field, from form two, we want the price to equal the calculation of the form that we're in right now. And that is it. And again, this is all easily copy and pasteable from our help article. So let's give this a test. I'm gonna go ahead and go up to publish. Let's open in a new tab. And let's say I want a bag and I want three of those bags. We can see the calculation is $210. So I'm gonna go ahead and click submit. And there we go, we landed on that second form with the calculation already in the product. So if I fill this out, hit submit, we'll be good to go. And it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about passing calculations from one form to another, let us know and I'll see you next time.